I'm a larger investor and I can't just sit around with a bunch of money in my bank and wait for a year or two for the market to drop. What should I do in 2021 to prepare for the coming downturn? I believe that we're going to have a coming downturn and we have to prepare for that. I'm still buying properties, but when you buy properties, being that I'm, I'm a larger investor and I can't just sit around with a bunch of money in my bank and wait for a year or two for the market to drop, I have to keep things moving. So with the coming downturn, what I'm doing is focusing on one, flips. I'm looking to buy a property and flip it and move in and out of the property and make sure that I'm not holding onto it too long. So really, I really wanna to try to make sure that and I, I'm moving in and out in roughly six months. Now, some people would say that's a long time to have a flip. I do heavy remodels. I don't do the little lipstick, you know, paint and, and little stuff like that. No, I do big remodels with you know new roof, new electrical, new plumbing, new everything. It's like a brand new house by the time I'm done. So I wanna be in and out within six months because I think the market's gonna drop the end of 2022. That's when I think all of the money that the, economy, the, the, the government put into the economy is gonna dry up. So I really wanna be in and out of the deals quickly. Two, I don't wanna be exposed to too many deals at one time just so I can make sure that it's rotated properly. I wanna be in and out of a deal. So if you're doing five deals and, and you're not actually moving in and out quickly, that's gonna be a problem. You wanna make sure that you're, you're, you're running lean, you're running healthy. So by running a healthy business, if things do fall, you can still hold two properties and be fine. But if you're doing five, 10 flips at a time and, and that's literally uh, as much capacity as your company can handle, that might be a problem if you can't let go of that inventory, if you can't move it. The big issue, if you guys don't know this, is that getting work done is very hard. One, getting materials is very hard. Two, finding people to do the work is hard. So you don't wanna be holding on a whole bunch of properties and then not being able to finish and sell them. So you wanna make sure that you're running lean. Only buy as many properties as you can move and flip out quickly. So the next thing I would say is, for your holds, your buy and holds. So if you're gonna do the burst strategy, and you guys know I do the burst strategy for apartment complexes. When you're buying a property, you're gonna buy it, renovate it, rent it, refinance. If you're in the middle of any burst currently, you wanna make sure that you're gonna be finished with your renovations sometime, probably by third quarter of this year. So you can go for your refi by the fourth quarter of this year. Interest rates are keep on climbing. You wanna make sure that you're locked in and you're stabilizing the asset because you want a 30 year mortgage with a low interest rate and you wanna be very stable. If the issue isn't so much, are you gonna find tenants to rent your property? Real estate, rental real estate is, is, has one of the lowest vacancy ratios, even in a bad economy. But what happens is when the lending market dries, when people do, don't give loans, that is the issue people come into play. When the real estate market dried, when the lending market dried in 08, I was stuck with a 10% and a 15% hard money loan. And I had to carry that for years. It sucked up all the profits and basically I was holding properties with, with, uh, with no profits because all of the money I was bringing in from rent was going to pay the loan. Now, that's still better than defaulting because other people had defaulted and I chose not to, which was a smart decision because your credit is very important if you want to continue to grow in real estate. So, one, if you're going to flip into properties, flip in and out quickly. Don't hold too many flips at one time. Just stay lean. Two, if you have any current properties that you're trying to burr, finish them out and stay, get stable, long-term, low interest rate debt. Three, if you're going into any new deals, any new burrs, make sure that you're gonna be in and out and done with your process within six months. 
because you don't want to be in, in stuck in, in holding on to uh, a burr too long before you're stabilizing it or if you decide at the end of the day to sell it to sell off because you want to make sure that you're running lean because if anything does happen you want to be able to handle it you don't want to be stuck holding a property that you never wanted to back in 08 there was a ton of people that were into flipping and those people end up not being able to sell the properties so they ended up becoming long-term investors which they never planned on being a long-term real estate investor um, you don't want to become a landlord on a property you never were planning to be a landlord the numbers almost never work so make sure whatever your plan is that you're in and out and you're you're stabilizing your asset um, and within the per your period of time 